Welcome back to another episode of the Say It Out Loud podcast. I'm your host, Vasavi Kumar, also the author of the upcoming book, Say It Out Loud, which will be out in spring of 2023, published by New World Library. Link in show notes to get on the wait list, or you can head to vasavikumar.com forward slash book. Okay, there's like a whole new vibe that I'm really into lately. And it feels something like the cross between a feather, but also like an anchor, like an actual anchor that like you throw over a boat, you know? And um, it feels so different, right? The feather and the anchor, because the feather is floaty, soft, can't, you, you know, you can't really, can't really pin it down, right? Um, it'll just kind of float away from you. And then the anchor is like hard, sturdy, grounded. It gets you anchored, right? That's the whole point of an anchor. Um, and I've been feeling like a great combination of both. Some would maybe call that masculine feminine, but uh, I get it when people say masculine feminine energy, but I really think in terms of, and I feel like objects, you know? So I feel the cross between, I feel like my the feather in me and the anchor in me is um, very well in harmony with each other. And there are lots of things that I've done to feel this way. I feel floaty and I feel creative and I'm probably, I mean, my creativity, I haven't tapped into even, God knows, I mean, how much of our potential do we really, really access, you know, but it's like, I can feel myself in creative flow, but I can also see why I feel so in creative flow because I have a lot of habits and structure and um, consistency in my life, which I did not have before. I was the only thing getting in my own way. (laughs) And I would stop and I would start and I would stop and I would start. And um, when I look at, and this all came about when I looked at, started with men, right? Why do I pick a certain type of men? Mostly non-committal, kind of sneaky, just kind of, you know, whatever. Because there's a part of me that's, you know, inconsistent with herself, non-committal with herself, sneaky in a way like I can, um, I can really be uh, quite convincing with myself. I can be sneaky with myself, right? Like even though I know what I'm doing to get in my own way, there's a sneaky kind of teenager inside of me, you know, that's like, yeah, it's fine. You know? So, um, in the past, uh, you know, month, a lot of amazing two months, a lot of amazing things have come into my life. But that's not really what I want to focus on. Yeah, like I've always been someone who can book keynote talks and get paid well. And, you know, I'm getting booked on acting gigs. So that's not that's not the part that I'm actually most proud of and that I want to talk about. The part that I'm most proud of is who I had to become to be able to hold the space for all of those things. You know, I always just thought I dreamt too big and I thought I was crazy in how I thought. And, um, oh, there's something wrong with me because I have all these wild ideas. Why can't I just be settled? You know, and it's something that I just don't feel that way anymore. I love how my brain works. I love it. I love how my brain works. And if you go on my Instagram at my name is Vasavi, I reclaimed a title about myself that I let go of. Um, well, first I gave myself a new title, the queen of saying it out loud, which is what I pride myself on being. And I want to make something very clear. When I say, say it out loud, that doesn't mean you just say every thought. I'm able, like say it out loud is a vibe. It's a lifestyle. It is the, it is becoming the type of person that values rigorous honesty with oneself, first and foremost, and then with others. First with self, then with others. Or if you can do, you know, do both at the same time, right? There's no like chronological order here. But to be a person who is committed to saying it out loud means that you are no longer willing to lie to yourself or lie to other people and be split from yourself, right? In a way, creating the bipolarity within. Um, So that's one new title that I've given myself is the queen of saying it out loud. And then the other thing is bipolar and brilliant. Bipolar and brilliant is a book that I was a part of. I was one, I had a chapter in the book And I was working with Lisa Nichols at the time. And Lisa Nichols is really the one who wanted me to embrace my mental illness diagnosis at the time. It was very new for me. I, you know, oh, actually it wasn't new for me. It was, um, what was it? 2000, 
two I got diagnosed. Yeah. So when I met Lisa, it was eight years later, but it was still, you know, I spent much of my twenties like fighting this label, but then finally just like accepting like, okay, I'm bipolar, you know, but not even really knowing how to harness that energy, the creative energy, um, until now. And she really pushed me to, to have, she just saw me and she was like, you're brilliant. You're bipolar and brilliant. And I decided to reclaim that because when I think of being bipolar, I don't think of the, I mean, yes, I was clinically diagnosed, but I now think of the bipolarity within us. And um, that's what I mean is, you know, I, it's, a, it's a play on words, right? It's, yeah, bipolar because I've, I've, I've been given that diagnosis and I was on meds for many years, but also the bipolarity within myself, within all of us, you know? And, um, and really allowing myself to just, you know, I'm gonna own that label not as something to be ashamed of. I'm not ashamed of it. I love the way my brain works. I love it. I've embraced it, right? We also have to, we have to learn to embrace how we think because thank God we don't all think the same. That'd be boring as hell. I always thought about what it would be like if I were to date a male version of myself. Like if I were to date me, I'd kill me. <laughs> I love myself. <laughs> I don't need two of me. I'm good with just me, you know? It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a 24 seven job right here, you know, without going insane to not go insane. Um, I still have my very much insane moments, but you know, I want to really make this point is that like the biggest shift for me, and this is what I want to say out loud. is like, I don't want to be the only thing getting in my own way. I got really honest with myself about what are the things that are weighing me down. It wasn't like, what am I doing that's bad? What am I doing that, you know? I asked myself a few things. What makes me feel small currently? And what can I do about it? One of the things was um, letting go and like really cutting all communication. I know y'all listen to the story with me and my ex, you know, but um, really letting go. So as I record this today, it's 50 two days, 53 days. I've recorded another episode right before this. So it's like the day after, whatever. I like to record my episodes really when I'm in the moment. Um, so I said, being in communication with this person who clearly does not treat me the way I deserve to be treated or wanna be treated, that makes me feel small. So I went on a 90 day man ban and I'm still in it right now, by the way, I just told you, I'm in like day 50 something. So 40 something more days, 30 something more days to go, whatever. I also felt like, I don't feel really sexy and confident in my body. And I just felt heavy. I was just trying to really rid myself of anything that made me feel heavy in, on any level, mentally, emotionally, financially, you know, just things that are like, do I need this? Like, do I really want this? You know, and allowing myself to say, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't want this in my life. No, no, no. I'm allowing myself to say no to me and the things that I've put into my life. And I'm reevaluating with myself. And I'm like, no, Vasavi. No, I don't want that. You know, so I'm having a dialogue with myself. So that was one of them. So I got put myself on a man ban. Um, and when it comes to my body, I just signed up for Barry's boot camp. I'd never really done it before. And I was like, I want to try this out. And um, it's a great location. I love going downtown Austin. And I saw that they had really early morning classes. And so I did, you know, 725, 740. And I've been going six days a week. Man, this week was four days a week and my muscles just started to feel fatigued. But so far I've been to, I believe in the past two months, I've been to like uh, two months, I, I think like 45, 45 classes or something like that. Like actually probably even more than 45 classes. I think it's actually been 53 classes I've been to in the past two months. So that's pretty good, you know? And um, I do it for my mind. I don't really, my body's looking great. My body's looking great. It's really feeling strong. It feels like, okay, like I'm loving the, just how I'm morphing into a shape that I'm, that I just, I, 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 the reason why I love the shape is because I know what I'm doing to get it. Like, it's like, yes, like I'm working for it. You know, it feels good. It's like, I love it. And there's no catastrophic thinking. Like if I miss two days of working out, cause I'm just very tired instead of being like, Oh my God, you're going to fall off the wagon. It's like so catastrophic thinking, right? Like so black and white. I'm like, no, you need to rest Vasavi. You've been working your ass off. Literally. Like I went to a class today called abs and ass, you know? So it's like, I'm trust myself that even if I take two days off that I'll get back to it. So that's a huge shift for me because it means that I've developed trust with myself. That's what that means. I know that if I 
go two days, it doesn't mean I'm going to go back to the way it was. And that's, that's really, that type of thinking comes from years of being let down and um, not feeling safe, you know? So when we have any sort of consistency, we want to hold on to it. And then when it just hiccups a little bit, we're like, wait, are you leaving me? Are you going? Is this going to end? What's happening? Right? So we have to build that safety within ourselves. And that's what I'm doing. And it feels really good. So that has been great. Um, the other thing is I'm back in therapy for myself. So that's been really good. I've been going every week with the exception of Labor Day we skipped. Um, what else? I'm doing? I'm socializing consistently. So like once a week, I'll hang out with my friends or if not more. I talk to friends every day, um, either through text, voice note, whatever. Um what else sleep time wake time sometimes i go to sleep a little bit later but it's like because i you know i'm just not tired yet you know what i mean um so yeah i'm like flexible i still feel like a feather but i have this structure you know and i'm trusting myself so much more asking for what i want like just i because i have this trust for myself i respect myself so much and so i ask for what i want i ask exactly for what i want and then i push a little bit you know whether it's like um that speaking engagement that I did, which was amazing. Or even when I um, have certain offers that I'm putting out, I'm like feeling really good about my offers, right? I have the three session package, six session. You can do a 90 minute session with me. Just like really um, fluid, easy, get in and get out packages. I like that, you know? And I also still have one-on-one -on -one clients and I don't want a lot of one-on-one -on -one clients. I have two. Like I always have room for like one more, you know what I mean? So if you're listening to this and you're like, oh my God, can we work together one on one? Uh, if you just feel free to reach out, DM me on Instagram. My name is Vasavi. Easy process. Um, yeah. So what else do I want to say? I mean, when I wrote down the notes of what I wanted this podcast to be about, I said, "Stop being the only thing getting in your own way." And that's it. That's what I told myself. Stop being the only thing, Vasavi, getting in your own way. That's that's where I'm at right now. And I wanted to share what was working for me. And um, yeah, living by a calendar. I have a, I have a free resource called um, uh, Creating Your Personal CEO Calendar. So yeah, that's really good. You can get that on my website. I'll put that in the show notes also. But anyway, listen, I'm going to start planting the seed in your head and tell you about it now, okay? November 1st, I'm kicking off my 30-day consistent AF challenge. I talk about it in the episode before this. It's $76 in honor of my father, who's turning 76. 10% of all proceeds is going to be going to Cure PSP. And um, PSP is the name of the rare neurological movement disorder that he has called supranuclear palsy. So this challenge that I'm running November 1st through the 30th, you will get my support. We will be in a Voxer group and it's just being consistent AF with yourself and really being curious about what stops you, what holds you back, what motivates you, what encourages you to keep going. It's really fun to learn about yourself because once you learn, once you can learn how you operate, nothing and no one can get in your way. You just have to know yourself. You got to know how you stop yourself. You have to know the mindset. You have to know what you tell yourself that can let you off the hook. You also have to know the exact words and how to talk to yourself to get yourself going. It's such a, it's not just about building habits. That's not what it's about. It's so much deeper than that. Okay, so I would absolutely love for you to join the Consistent AF Challenge. We begin November 1st, $76. Uh, it's very simple. I'm not giving you any videos, modules, nothing. You literally come, you get put into a Voxer group. I might do like one kickoff call. I'll probably do that one kickoff call. And see, my creative process is very much like, I don't need to have it all figured out. I have one um, kickoff call that we'll do probably we'll probably do it on November 1st. And then for the rest of that time, and everyone will declare what their habits are and what the things they want to be consistent with. And these are emotional, mental, spiritual, physical, financial um, things you want to be consistent with. Maybe it's, I'm going to check my bank account every single morning for the next 30 days. And I'm going to track how I feel when I look at the number in my bank account. What do I make it mean about me? Make that a practice for 30 days. It will change your life because you will be able to see your relationship with money. So that's how simple I want it to be. And then everyone will get put into a Voxer group, um, which is the walkie talkie app that I use. Voxer, y'all need to sponsor me, seriously. Um, but it's a walkie talkie app that I use. So everyone in true say it out loud fashion is going to say what they're experiencing. It's also the same app that I use in my um, say it out loud group program. So um, 
and there's um, and this will then lead into so November 1st through 30th and then in January the next round of the say it out loud group program begins so um yeah you're supported totally supported I'm very excited about this and um, I did take a CBD gummy, so I'm just like, my eyes are a little droopy, but I feel so mellow. I'm in my heart right now. It's completely CBD, by the way. Um, I just kind of weaned off any sort of THC. I was like, uh, I think I'm liking this too much. I don't want this. I don't want to want something like this, like, all the time and feel like if I don't have it, then I'm going to, I'm, I'm like, I can't function. You know what I mean? So um, I weaned off of that, and I'm just doing the CBD gummy in the evening, and I love it for me. It's very mellow and relaxing. My dad takes it under the tongue. He has a little tincture. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for listening to another episode of the Say It Out Loud podcast. Uh, I've slowed down my speaking, if you can tell, which is awesome. <laughs> I feel replenished and not exhausted from talking so fast. I love this for me. All right, y'all. Uh, all the links are in the show notes. As always, please reach out to me. Send me a voice note on Instagram if you want. I love you, okay? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Say It Out Loud podcast. I am your host, Vasavi Kumar. I love you. And don't forget to say it out loud.